I have a question for you. Why is tuna sometimes called tuna fish, but chicken is never called chicken bird? <laughs> Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Echo and welcome back to a Minecraft video. Welcome your beautiful eyes to a second video about mod support and concept art design creations by the community. Now I did a video the other day, it had 10,000 views, 400 likes and plenty of comments. So I thought I'd do a second one, not to mention a lot of you guys have been tweeting images to me of custom mod support ideas that you came up with. So thank you very much for the people who did tweet it towards me. If you guys have, have any custom creations of mod support or any designs that you've done with Photoshop or Paint, etc., be sure to tweet them towards me. And if I use it, I will credit you like I have in this video. So I checked out all the comments in my previous video. A lot of you guys were very interested about the support of mods. A lot of you did say you would buy the mods if they were introduced by 40 shows if they custom made them whether it be the likes of tree mods etc a lot of you have been saying in the comment section you would like to see tinkers mod pixel mod or spawn tree mod and there's a few other mods as well so i want to know in the comment section what mod you specifically would love to see on minecraft console for me for a basic star something very realistic i would love to see a mini map mod i think that'd be a great addition on the top left of your screen, it would tell you what your coordinates are, it would tell you what terrain you're going into, and I think that would be a great addition to Minecraft console. Something very small, something very basic, because I hate, I absolutely hate carrying a map with me in our 36 times bigger world. Going to different uh, locations, you have to take a whole bunch of maps, which drives me crazy. I really hope that this um, does get fixed in the future, because I don't really like going too far because of the map creations on Minecraft console. But anyway, check out this image here. This is the first image I was sent by Lewis. So thank you very much, Lewis, for tweeting this towards me. He owns uh, the Facebook page, Minecraft Console News, which I will have in the description. He said, people are always asking when a custom skin creator or skin editor will be released on console edition of Minecraft. The answer is there won't be. Now he's correct, there won't be. This is because of copyright laws. If somebody was to create a Mario skin, for example, footages could be sued for copyright infringement. This is not good, obviously. So why can't we have, why can't we create our own skins on PC edition? I hear you asked. Well, this is because this feature is not actually part of the game. People have modded the game to be able to create custom skins. This cannot be done on console edition. However, I have an idea that might just make it possible for footage shows to release a custom skin editor without breaking any copyright laws. Now you can see he's got the eye color, shirt color, and shirt logo. Now this is a great addition, and I like specifically what he has done because if 40 shows were to introduce default colors and don't break any terms of service or break any rules for any copyright, they could actually do this idea. You could have your eye color say blue or red, you could have your shirt color say black or blue or white or yellow, and you could have a logo on it which could be some of the features from Minecraft the game already, whether it be a creeper on the front, whether it be a bow, whether it be a diamond, whether it be redstone, something very simple. This is kind of very similar to the way they have it on Terraria, where you can customize your character. I think that'd be a great addition to do, and I know there's so many skin packs out there that Forty Shows probably won't introduce this. However, this is something I really would like to see, I have to admit. When I did see this image, I thought, wow, what a great addition. Very, very basic, but also very powerful at the same time. So let me know in the comments section what you thought about his custom um, design in the regards of making custom skins for Minecraft console edition. Now the reason why the mod support on Minecraft console would have to be um, 40 shows created is because if they can't transfer Minecraft PC texture packs to console, we have no hope in hell of four Minecraft mods because mods have various different people creating them. However, if you look at Pixelmon, they do possibly have, maybe you could get something like Pixelmon introduced. It is an awesome mod, and I think the people who make that are very, 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 very capable of possibly bringing that to console edition. And also, not only is it 40 years, but Microsoft love money. So if they were introduced a Minecraft PC mod that someone else has created, they would have to give some split, meaning they'd have to share the money, meaning that Microsoft wouldn't make 100% of the money. They might have to split to 50%, 20%, 10%, who knows? Or they may even buy the mod, who knows, in as well. Also, like I said previously, copyright issues would be a very, very big thing 
for Microsoft Voice Heroes and Minecraft in general. So yeah, copy copyright is the main reason why we haven't got mods on um, console edition unless they're community created. But anyway, moving on to the next image. I have three different images here by the user Shark Boy. He tweeted a few things towards me. As you can see, this is the first image. Minecraft PS4 and on the bottom he's got Mod Store. And I'm moving away from that. The next image he's got here is just a normal world that he's created. He's got here um, Game Mode Survival, Difficulty Easy, the Texture Packs, he's got Mod Packs and it looks like the Beer Mod. He's got like, I'm not sure, is that an Enchantment Mod or a Table Mod? I think that possibly could be a Pixel Mod Mod and it says on the right hand side. Uh, oh sorry, it says underneath the mod pack, online game and mod activated, which I think is a great addition. I like the way he's done that. And on the right hand side, it's got beer mod. Enjoy the swigs and dizziness of different beer types and more. And you can see on the bottom, he's got a picture of different types of variations that you can do with this mod. So yeah, I mean, very simple, but also very powerful at the same time. And I think the mod concept art really is becoming very, 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 very popular. And the last image he did tweet towards me was this one. You can see this is where you would start a, gray, a, a, gray, a game and go into a lobby. You can see on the right hand side you've got join game which be, would be a normal default game whether that's his friends and you can see the texture packs they are using. And he's also added my name which I thought was incredible. He's got join modded game and as, as you can see I must have been playing Pixelmon at the time because it says Echo Soldier with the Pixelmon logo. So that was very very powerful. Um, I think you can, I don't know, I just thought it would be a really cool idea that they could do things like this. And as you can see, this is the official tweet he did say, there are three fan-made created arts by my name is Sharkboy on YouTube. So we'll have a link to his YouTube and his Twitter in the description because it's brilliant and I love these concept arts. So if you guys create any more, be sure to tweet them towards me. Let me know in the comment section what you think about these concept arts, these ideas and more. I've been Echo, have a great day and I'll catch you next time. Bye!